Hello everyone and this is Glenda Winkleman and welcome back to Creative Grandma. Today's project is called the No Border Dishcloth. This dishcloth pattern was made specifically for first time crocheters who want to try to make a project but you're a little afraid of the border and going up and down the sides and around the piece. So this project is just starting with row one and working to the end with no border. Now if you can master this simple piece then you can go on to the knobby dishcloth and that one I have a video where it shows you how to put your border on. So if you want to start with this one it's a cute little design. The edges are pretty well even and it doesn't really require a border it's just a nice little dishcloth now this one is seven and a half by seven and a half inches and if you want to make your dishcloth larger you can by increasing every increase you would increase by two chain and then you would increase two rows in the center of the piece but to just start out I recommend just following the pattern make this little dishcloth when you master this one just go on to the knobby and then you will learn how to, to put your border on by watching that video so today I actually have four samples the first one is the white with the blue and green border I think this one shows the pattern better than any of my other samples with the with the solid colors the second one I used a variegated and then I used yellow and white for the accent on the edges. The third one again is made in solid colors and you can see how the solid colors for some reason really pulls the design out and shows the accent on the top and bottom of your dishcloth. And the last sample I used a pink called bubblegum splash and then I used white with a solid pink. So for this project you will need your main color. You'll need three different colors. So I'm choosing Premier Home Cotton. I'm using Lime Green for my main color. And I'm going to use Ocean Splash and White for my accent colors. Now you can choose whatever three colors you would like. So you need a main color and then you're going to need your two accent colors. Now you're going to need a full ball of the main color and you're going to need just a little bit for your accent colors. So to begin this project you're going to need a size H8 hook and you're going to need to start with the chain 26 of your main color. So go ahead and get your chain 26 ready and I'll be right back to start this super simple project. I have my chain 26 ready so we're going to start row one. Row one will be a single crochet and then a double crochet and then a single crochet. So you're going to start and skip the first chain. So you're going to skip this first chain here. I hope you can see that. It got a little tight on me. So this first chain you're going to skip and you're going to work a single crochet into the second chain. So insert your hook into that second chain, yarn over your hook, pull it through the chain, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You just made your first single crochet. So now you're going to look for your next chain and you can see each chain as you go down so we're going to do a double crochet in the next chain so yarn over your hook you're going to insert your hook into that next chain you're going to put your yarn over your hook and pull it through the chain yarn over the hook pull it through two loops on your hook yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops on the hook. Now you did a double crochet. And what this does is 
you're going to work a single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. Now when you make your next single crochet, it kind of scrunches your double crochet down and that's what forms the texture of your work and gives it that really nice look. Now this is a variation of the knobby dishcloth. This is the same single double crochet pattern, but it does have a variation in it to make this one just a little bit different. That's why I said when you're done mastering making this dishcloth, then you can go on to the knobby dishcloth and learn how to do your border. Okay, so now the next chain, you're going to do a single crochet. So insert your hook into that next chain and always make sure you look. This stitch, if you're not sure, this double crochet, you can see how it comes down into this chain. And if you're not sure, just pull them apart a little bit. Okay, so that's not the right one. You want to go into this next one. So insert your hook into that next chain. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the, the chain stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops on the hook. That's the beginning of your second repeat of the single double crochet. Now you're going to do a double crochet in the next chain. Yarn over your hook, insert in that next chain. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the chain. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. Now, sometimes when you're working with this cotton yarn, you can see how loose, how loose that is. It's, it's really loose, so make sure you don't split by putting your hook through those. Just rip it out and start over if you do. Okay, so we're going to repeat this across to the end, and you're going to end with a single crochet. So let me show you one more time single crochet into the next chain, insert your hook into that chain, yarn over the hook, pull it through that chain, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. A double crochet in the next chain, yarn over the hook, insert it in that next chain, yarn over the hook, pull it through the chain, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops on your hook, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops on the hook. So go ahead and repeat that across ending with a single crochet in the last chain and if you start going across and you're not sure just pause the video, backtrack it, play it again until you get to the end of row one. I'll meet you there and we'll start row two. I'm at the end of row one and this is what your piece should look like. Now you should end with a single crochet in that last chain and if for some reason you did not then you need to check your stitches and see where you made the mistake or you might have you know chained too little or, or chained one too many. So go ahead and check your row. If you ended with a single crochet then you are good to go to start row two. So to start row two you're going to chain one so you put your yarn over your hook and you pull it through that loop that's your turning chain right here so you're going to turn your work I always use my my two fingers here to hold that yarn it kinda helps you maneuver it around when you're trying to work if you can't grab a hold of your piece you're always going to start with a single crochet and end with a single crochet on your row so we're going to look for our stitch and if you're new to crocheting this might be confusing because you're looking and you're saying okay my goodness where's my stitches so what I tell people when I'm trying to teach them how to crochet is just turn your work slightly and when you see these what I call little V stitches it's not cooperating with me it's going where it wants to this here V here, 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 these are your stitches. You're going to be going under these two yarn threads here. So I'm going to insert my hook. We're going to work that first single crochet. 
and I'm going to turn my work slightly. This is my beginning chain one, so we do not work in that. You look for your next stitch, which is the first stitch here, going up the edge. So don't get confused by this chain one space. If you go in there, then you're going to increase and your work will start angling up the side. So skip the chain one space, insert your hook in that first single crochet, yarn over the hook, pull it through those two threads, strands, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You made your first single crochet in the beginning single crochet of the last row so you can see how your stitches match up. So now this pattern you work a single crochet in the double crochet and a double crochet in the single crochet across. So the next stitch is a double crochet. You can tell by how long it is. And this one's shorter. This one's long, this one's shorter. So you're going to put your yarn over the hook. Whoops, I'm sorry. I'm you're going to put a single crochet in that first double crochet there. So it, turn your work slightly, look for your two strands of yarn, insert your hook underneath those two strands, yarn over the hook, pull it through the double crochet stitch, yarn over the hook, and pull it through two loops on your hook. Now with this pattern, you're going to have one row that starts with a single and double crochet and the next row will start with two single crochet. This is an alternating pattern in order to get the single and the double, the double and the single, vice versa on each row. So now the next one is a single crochet. So you need to work a double crochet in that single crochet. Yarn over the hook turn your work slightly and look for those two strands of yarn. You're going to insert your hook under those two strands, yarn over the hook, pull it through those that stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops on the hook, yarn over the hook, and pull it through two loops on the hook. So now you can see you're starting your repeat pattern. You worked a single crochet in that double, a double in the single. So you're going to repeat that across. I'll show it to you one more time. You're going to work a single crochet in this next double crochet. Insert your hook, turn it slightly, insert it underneath those two yarn strands. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops on your hook. Now you're going to work a double crochet in the next single crochet, yarn over the hook, turn your work slightly, look for those two yarn strands, insert your hook under those two strands, yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops on your hook, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. So you're going to repeat that across, and when you get to the end of row two, you will be working two single crochet in the last stitches. You will be working a single crochet in this last double crochet, and then you will be working a single crochet in that ending single crochet. So go ahead and work across, and like I said, if I confused you a little bit, just rewind the video, backtrack a little bit, and then just follow it until you get the hang of it and I'll meet you at the end of row two where you should end with two single crochet. I'm at the end of row two and you can see I started with two single crochet and we ended with two single crochet. So for row three you're going to put the yarn over your hook and pull it through that loop. That's your chain one and you're going to turn your work. Now row three is the same as row one, only we're working in stitches instead of chains. So we have two single crochet. You always start and end the row with a single crochet. So insert your hook into that first single crochet and remember skip that chain one space. So yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. Your first single crochet is made. So now the next stitch 
is a single crochet so you're going to work a double crochet in your single crochet a single crochet in the next double a double crochet in your next single and a single crochet in your next double so you should be getting the hang of the stitch pattern now with the single and double crochet so let's get started with the next stitch is a double crochet yarn over the hook insert your hook into that next stitch under those two yarn strands yarn over the hook pull it through the stitch yarn over the hook pull it through two loops on hook yarn over the hook pull it through two loops on the hook now you're going to work a single crochet in the next double crochet and this is your pattern across I'll show it to you one more time the next stitch is a single crochet so you need to work a double yarn over the hook insert it in that next stitch under those two yarn strands pull your yarn through that stitch yarn over the hook pull it through two loops yarn over the hook pull it through two loops your next stitch will be a single crochet into this double you can see it's a longer stitch which means double the short one is a single so go ahead and insert your hook into that next stitch yarn over the hook pull it through the stitch yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops on the hook so go ahead and work a double crochet in the next single a single in the next double a double in the next single a single in the next double <clears throat> And you will end with a double crochet into that next to the last single and you'll work a single crochet into that last single crochet and like I said it's just a repeat of row one only you're working in the stitches instead of the chains so go ahead and work across and I'll meet you at the end of row three I'm at the end of row three and you can see the textured pattern being created so now we're going to start our next three accent rows which are very simple rows so I'm going to fasten off my green now this is the way I fasten off and join new colors if you have a different preferred way then please feel free to your, use your way I just this is just how I do it I just yarn over my hook twice pull it, my hook out and then I just pull it down now make sure you don't pull it down too tight because you don't want to break this yarn too close so I'm going to grab my next color I'm going to turn my work I'm going to insert my hook into that first single crochet I think I'll use the blue as my first color now what I do is I take this piece that I cut off to fasten off and I bring it around to the back of my work and I just pull it right up here on top of my hook but to the back of the work I also lay my new color right there and then what I do is I just pull that new color through I chain one and then I work a single crochet in that first single crochet but I take my hook underneath those two strands and I'm working my stitch right over top of them that kind of weaves it in then you don't see your ends so pull your yarn through that stitch yarn over and pull it through two loops on your hook you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch and if you can't see it because your threads are there then just pull them back look for those two strands make sure the two back pieces that you're weaving in is on top of your hook but behind the work take your yarn over your hook pull it through that stitch yarn over through two loops on the hook so basically all we're doing is single crochet in each stitch across so I'm going to work a couple more to show you insert your hook into the next stitch your extra yarn is on top of the hook but on the back of your work yarn over the hook pull it through the stitch yarn over the hook pull it through two loops so I'm going to go ahead and work a couple more single crochet and then all I do 
is I take my scissors, I flip the work back over to get these out of my way when I'm crocheting. I do enough that I feel it's secured and then I take my scissors right up. Don't cut into your stitches but just trim that off right there and you can see that your ends have been weaved in nicely under the work so no need to weave them in afterwards when you're finished. So yarn in the yeah yarn in the next stitch put your hook into the next stitch yarn over the hook pull it through the stitch yarn over the hook pull it through two loops so go ahead and work your single crochet across to the end of the row and I'll meet up at the end of row four I'm at the end of row four and this is what your piece should look like one row of single crochet. Now we're going to do the same thing we just did. We're going to fasten off our yarn and we're going to attach our second accent color. So I'm going to turn my work. I already showed you how I bring my yarn through and pull that extra strand behind and work my stitches over it. So I'm going to pull that new color through, I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to single crochet in that same beginning single crochet. So this row is the same as the last. You're going to single crochet in each single crochet across, and you should know how to do the single crochet by now. So go ahead and single crochet over top of those ends. You're going to flip your work over. Make sure you're cutting the right, the right two strands, not your working strand. Just snip that off. And then that shows you how nicely it weaves the ends in in the back. So go ahead and work your single crochet across in each single crochet stitch and I'll meet you at the end of row five. I'm at the end of row five, so we're going to do row six, which is the same as row five, but we're going to go back to our first accent color. So in my case, mine is blue. So again, I'm going to fasten off my work. I'm going to turn my work and then I'm going to grab that first accent color that I used. I'm going to pull my new color through that first single crochet and I'm going to work my stitches over top these strands of extra yarn. So pull your yarn, your new color through, you're going to chain one and you're going to single crochet in that same beginning single crochet. You're going to single crochet in each single crochet across, working your single crochet over those ends of these extra where you joined and ended your colors. Once you do four or five stitches or however many stitches you like, then just flip your work over, grab those, grab the ends hold them out of the way of your working strand and just snip them right off and again this is the right side of your work and when you flip it over your ends are nicely weaved in the back already so go ahead and work your single crochet across row six and then for row seven we're going to start our main color with the single double crochet pattern again. So work your single crochet across and I'll meet you up at the end of row six. I'm at the end of row six and now your piece should look like this. You have three rows of single crochet. So now I'm going to fasten off my accent color and we're going to go back to your main color. You're going to turn your work You're going to insert your hook into that first single crochet. You're going to grab your new color. 
you're going to pull that new color through. You're going to chain one and you're going to work a single crochet into that first single crochet. So now we're going to start our pattern again with the single crochet, double crochet. So the first row we already have our single crochet because you always start and end with a single crochet. So now the next stitch will be a double crochet, yarn over the hook, insert your hook in that stitch, yarn over, pull it through that stitch, yarn over, through two loops on hook, yarn over, through two loops on the hook. So for this row, you're going to single crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into that next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch and you'll be repeating this pattern across so you will work a double crochet in the next stitch, a single crochet in the next, a double crochet in the next, a single crochet in the next and you'll be ending with a single crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my work on the back, grab these two strands, just snip them off and get them out of my way. You can choose to do it when you're done at the end of the row, but I like to get them out of my way. So I'll show you one more time. We'll do a double crochet in the next stitch. And a single crochet in the next. Repeat that across and I'll meet up with you at the end of row seven. I'm at the end of row seven and this is what your piece should look like. You have your first accent rows in your dishcloth. So now we're going to work the center section. So if you look, you just completed this section here of your dishcloth. So now for this section here, you're going to work 10 more rows of the single double crochet alternating each row so for rows 8 through 17, you're going to repeat rows 2 and 3 five times. So for this, if you want to skip to the end of the video and copy and paste the instructions, or just email me before you begin this project, and I'll be more than happy to send you the actual pattern, and you can follow along in the video. So go ahead and work rows 2 and 3 five more times and I'll meet up with you at the end of row 17. I'm at the end of row 17 and this is what your piece should look like. So now what you're going to do is you're going to work rows 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 over again. So instead of me filming this again, if you just want to back click on the video towards the beginning and find where I started row um, row four and then you can just follow that along again since you already did it once you're going to work your three single crochet rows for your accent and then you will do another three rows of your single crochet, double crochet, alternating your stitch. So you will be working rows 18 through 23, which is a repeat of rows 4 through 9. So go ahead and click back to where I fastened off and started row 4 of our first row of our accent color. Uh, continue from rows 4 to 9. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my piece and work rows 4 through 9 again and I will meet up with you at the end of row 23. I'm at the end of row 23 so now the only thing left to do is I'm going to go ahead and fasten off my work and I, add, um, I had a subscriber ask me to show how to weave in the back. So I did remember my yarn needle this time. So you're going to take a yarn needle, you're going to thread your yarn 
from fastening it off onto your yarn needle. And this is the back of the work. So this is the front. When I finished, I'm just gonna turn my work over on the back. And I'll bring this up close and you just stick your needle and you're going to go under some of the bases of these stitches. Just like so. See how my needle goes under the base of the stitch? Hold on to your corner with this finger. Grab your needle. Just pull that needle through. And then you're going to snip that yarn off. And that's how you weave in your ends. You can't even tell it was there. So do that with your other corner. And I hope I didn't confuse you too bad with the pattern. Uh, I know that when you're crocheting it's a lot different than when you're standing here listening to somebody say double crochet in the single crochet, single crochet in the double, double in the single. Uh, so my advice to you when you're new and you're starting a pattern is don't worry about the overall pattern or the whole of the pattern. You take it by the first row and you do it stitch by stitch. When you get the first row done, you start your second row. And that's the best advice I can give you is just one tiny step at a time. And you'll end up with your first piece of the no border dishcloth. And like I said, when you get this done, then try the knobby dishcloth and that one you can learn how to put a border on. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of the no border dishcloth. Uh, I still think the solid colors look a little bit better. Uh, they show the detail of the accents better. I think the variegated's a little harder to see, but they're still nice. So thank you for stopping by. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And good luck to all you beginners. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.